Sometimes the stars are aligning, the eras are matched up perfectly. The one man that is formed to do the job of slapping cheeks is born, and I am that man, baby. And then I get support. Um, okay, well, you can still slap cheeks from there, but you're trying to slap cheeks in a way that lets your teammates slap cheeks as well. Now, shout out to this comment that said, hey, do Sukiyomi support? And I was like, okay. And that is just a reminder that if you do want to help these videos out, give them a like, let me get a little subscribe because we are on our way to a thousand subscribers. And leave me a comment is one of the easiest ways to just get a little bit of engagement on the videos. And if there's a specific god you want to see me play in a specific role in a specific way, leave it down there and I might just do it. And this is one that I've been interested in doing. I was actually trying to get a mid game, but I said, hey, if I get support, then I'm going to do this. I don't have the build uh, fleshed out, but I know exactly what I want to go for the most part. So once we get in game, I can kind of break it down for you a little bit. I'm excited to try this out. I've done a few assassin supports lately. I did a Naja video. You can watch that one next if you want to. It was very fun. I did Daji just a couple days ago, which was very fun. Uh, as you can see, I don't have as much Dutch experience on Tsukiyomi here. This is a pretty old uh, loading board. This is a fun one. Um, <laughs> but I know how all the gods in the game work, so I'm not too worried about that, to be completely honest with you. It's kind of like I had a Nike jungle video yesterday, which we smacked up like crazy, and I'm only first for level one on Nike, but I went crazy with it. It was like seven, one, and five or something at the end of the match. So again, if you want to go watch that one, that video will actually be on the end screen for you. And I've been having a lot of fun doing these different builds lately and just kind of shaking it up and trying different things, of course, in casual. Um, and I do want to say some people do have questions sometimes where you're like, hey, do you stream or anything like that? Um, I do not right now because my internet's not the greatest, but if I can get that figured out, then I would like to start streaming because if I could stream, as you can see, it's taking so long for me to load on this match, which is funny because the other guy with my same uh, loading board on the enemy team is taking long to load in too. <laughs> but if I can get better internet, then I would like to start streaming. And if I did stream, my thought is that I would do like a ranked streams. So then I would do these casual videos right now, like I have been doing. Um, and then on stream, I would do my ranked grind because I do want to get into a ranked grind and actually just do like a solo grind and get up to a high rank. Um, I think that'd be really fun. So if that's something you'd be interested in, then let me know. Uh, and then if I can make it happen, then I'll, you know, obviously get the details and get that shit together. It could be really cool. I'm going to go for my one here. I'm pretty sure it's the best wave clear and stuff. Uh, yeah, 35, 35. Or is this actually better for clearing a jungle camp? Do you have extra minion damage? Suki meets close to the gun. No, I don't think so. But you do get your special auto after this one. Let's go. The one that could be wrong, but eh, I'm just going to try this out. Okay. I think I'm going to go straight into War Flag. It's the best for something like this, kind of a starter. We'll go into Spartan Flag later on. Uh, I like to go straight into a Relic Dagger on these kinds of dudes, and then we take that into an Eldritch Dagger because you can get your extra little protections, and this is going to boost them by 15%, depending on what Relic you pop. Well, not depending on what Relic you pop. Any Relics you pop, and obviously it takes down the base cooldown of all of our Relics by 50 seconds. That being said, looks like our lane is going to be against an Izanami, and probably a Surter, but it could be an Erlong Shin. Either way, they're going to have some pretty good lockdown. So I think I might go for a sprint to start it off with here. And then after that, we'll go ahead and just get some uh, horn shard actually. Uh, and then I'm going to get some pots, probably three green and three blue. And we'll do actually a fourth green here. And that's the good thing about a build like this is you get a lot of extra pots in the beginning because your actual starting uh, items that you're picking here are really cheap. So when you get really cheap items, you can get uh, more expense or just more amounts of pots, I should say. Do I have my voice back on this? No, I don't. <laughs> I didn't think I did. I actually have to clap though. Ooh, look, I'm clapping and I have a little skin here. And yet again, another freaking newt. You want to grab purple? Okay, that's fine. I never know with these ADCs. Sometimes they want to grab purple and they want me to grab green. Sometimes they want to do the other way. And it's kind of one of those things where it's like you just kind of have to do whatever they want. I'd rather group it over here, buddy. Just keep walking this way and keep shooting. There you go. I'll try to slow it down for you a little bit, because maybe you're a little slow in the membrane. That's okay. I respect that. We can actually pop an extra green pot here, since we got the extras. Okay. I was just waiting for her to clear. She's taking a little bit. And I'm actually going to go ahead and grab my three here, because what you can do is throw that on top of the minions and start slowing them down. And then we can throw our one out there. And we can just throw that at the enemies. And we'll keep beating these little minions down. We have pretty good clear here. So it is the Surter is a Nami like I thought it would be. I'm not surprised about that. We're going to use our Caltrops on this guy and maybe go in a little bit. Eh, I'm not going to use my Sprint on this. Wow, she did some pretty good return damage too. And that's kind of what I was looking for. We use our Caltrops on these minions again. Just kind of trying to clear as fast as we can because, again, they have an Izanami. Like, she's good at clearing. 
So when I can play a god like this, our clear is pretty good too. And then if we can clear faster than them, then we can fight them. I'm actually going to use my um, sprint on her here. And we're getting immediately cringe ganked. Are you fucking kidding me? I just got to try to live. That sucks. I really wanted her to chase there. And she really wanted to chase too. He should have his wall soon. So that's why I'm kind of just trying to immediately ganked. That sucks because we had that first blood too. I'm going to say be careful middle because I think that Thor is going to go there next. Which, you know, makes sense he should. I can actually slow these minions down a little bit. They're over there, Naja. No, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? We have an ADC coming, bro. That... I hate when junglers do this. He did nothing for our entire lane. And then he shows up out of nowhere. And starts stealing our freaking wave. Like, you didn't do anything, bro. That's kind of annoying. I actually don't know the full range. Of the, uh... Tsukiyomi ult, so maybe I should be careful with throwing that on instant cast. But then again, my cock is enormous. Oh, that's kind of stupid, and you smell like shit, but, you know, I'll let it slide this one time on the count of you, you know, smelling like shit. You, dude, you haven't cleared the wave. Jesus Christ. These freaking new players, and they have a bunch of damage because the gods are overpowered right now. So they just like shove their face into the dog pound, and they're like, "You look stupid, you little dog. You little dog looks stupid." And they're like, "Yeah, I'm never gonna get bit by this dog." And it's like, "Yeah, the dog's probably gonna bite you soon, buddy, because you keep calling it stupid straight into its face." Oh my god! Can we get this purple off? Can we just steal this really quick? Hey, yeah, there you go. Listen to me. You didn't notice, I just got you two kills. Well, yeah, I took one for myself, but... Eh. Please retreat, because I don't really have anything for you. No, just... Let's get out of here. I didn't want to back until I get my full item, which I can, so... I'm just going to back. But I'm actually going to change this to normal cast, just until maybe I use it a, three, a few times, because... What I'm scared of is if I use it and I don't know the ranges on it perfectly and then I just waste it because I'm not actually in range. So I'm going to be a little careful with that. But getting those revenge kills there was really good. I'm happy about that. We caught ourselves back up some good golden XP. It looks like she's soloing that, which to me is like fine, but a little risky because she's... Wait, what is she doing? Dude, get your... Are you fucking kidding me? Get the wave. I'm gonna slow this hobo of the night. We're gonna stun him. I'm gonna use my sprint on her so she can hopefully just get out, and I'll try to body block her too, just in case anything is possible to get thrown at her. There's no reason to do that. What kind of gank potential did you think she had when she didn't even have her ult yet? <laughs> like, that is just. Oh boy. Well, you might know what kind of game this is gonna be. I usually don't do this, but I'm just going to get this solo farm right here. And then I'm going to chuck this over here. There we go. I was able to secure that. I don't know where their uh, ADC is, so if she walks over here, I could get a little beat up. Wow, this seems like a fair thing that you're doing right now. You're, you're definitely not overpowered or anything. Why the fuck is that god so strong? What does he have? Oh, he has Axe Prox, and then a fucking beginning of a scepter. Wow, that should be illegal. I'm gonna go for this. Please, they, they have to kill her, right? Oh my god, he just whipped his ult. Dude! I couldn't have made that more free. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm s Okay. Um I'm just going to try to compose myself and not be unnecessarily rude to my teammates, my esteemed colleagues who I very much so respect, and I'm definitely not angry with in the slightest,
for dropping every single kill in that lane that was set up to them free on a fucking silver platter. But I'm sure they tried their best. There's nothing more they could have done. Abilities are hard to hit, and autos are as well. So it's okay. We all make mistakes. You live and you learn. And we'll go next on that one. Whew. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, just back up there, sexy feet. We don't know where uh, Surger is, so... Please come get this with me. Wow, dude. Please? Get your freaking proc on your gilded? Good job. Okay. I'm leaving. I should get some credit for those minions. She's not clearing them. She's not. And there's a freaking surter here again. <laughs> there's a surter here again. Here, I'll clear for you. You seem to have some trouble with that. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do it for you. How are you top damage? I don't think you could... <laughs> Attack left lane. Attack left lane. <laughs> yeah, I go. That sounds like a go to the idea. I'm just gonna stun him off of her. Oh, okay, I apparently went past. I'm just gonna use my sprint, because she just... I don't know. I feel like I just need to get her out of trouble when she gets in like that, because she just, like, runs at them. Uh, I was just looking at the stun duration goes up on this, and it does. Okay. Get the buffs. Come on. Get the buffs! Come here. I can't make this any more abundantly clear for you. Farm. Good. Alright. You can trail these around on our caltrops. I'm gonna run back here. And maybe see if I can get like a flank on this. Looks like I won't need to. Okay. Well, that was start to roll for free, and we got both of our buffs, so it's not that bad. I'm trying to get Rune Forged next. I guess I'll kind of explain the build that we're looking for here. I'm going to go for a Flame Forged Hammer here with the Rune Forged. Obviously, the Eldritch Dagger, like I showed you earlier, probably a Magi's Revenge. There's going to be a lot of glyphs in this build, so they get kind of expensive. We also want to go for a Pridwin. Obviously, it's really easy to hit on people because, you know, you just kind of fly on them with your ult, you know, like, imagine if I did this, and then I'm just like, oh, here, here I am, here's a pretty one frock, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's kind of what you're looking for there. Let's go, Naja! Good job, buddy. I don't really understand why the newt didn't help you. Actually, I do. It's because she has no situational awareness, and she literally didn't comprehend the fact that there was a dude behind her uh, in midair, being tossed around like a fucking... Hamburger. Um, but that's okay. Let's see if we want to meet him at the back yellow here. Does he want to do this? Hey, 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 hey. No. Help me with it. What? You think I'm running a fucking little league camp over here and you're just above playing first base, bro? Like, trust me, you are not the pitcher. All right? You don't have the chin for it. This is... Oh, man. Maybe I can help... Uh, Big boy Yanu, so a little bit. I haven't even looked at his lane. I'm trying to readjust my chair right now. My feet are stuck. If you're like, it's stuck on what? Don't worry about it. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. All right. You just you just don't worry about your pretty little face. And I know you're looking pretty. Um, I'm going to level my ult and my two there. That's why I level saved. So he has no ultimate now. But I'm scared of his surger coming over, which he probably will very, very soon. Are you fucking kidding me, Smite? That was our entire health bars. You... They think that's balanced. Okay. Why doesn't a fucking Velociraptor just come out of the sky and eat my shit next time? Like, what? Holy moly, dude. That is actually nuts. Clear, please. Clear. I don't trust this. This is getting insane. Is he walking over? Oh, yeah, 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 I'll do this with you. Hello there. Alright, I love doing farms, so we'll take it. Have your blue, big man. 
I might even just back to base so we can get this started. Can I get the full? Oh, I can. Now here's the thing. I don't need to get this now because I don't even have any prots for it to work off of. But it does have base damage on it too, so like it will still get some use out of itself. Um, does the slow increase on this? The slowest percentage does increase. Make sure you check that stuff. Look at that nausea hole. That's pretty good stuff right there. I think you get to kill off that. Now they dropped it. And this do, 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 doesn't do much. Okay, we'll do we'll do cow drops. Maybe. Oh, maybe I should do the one. I don't know. You might balance it out and do both. I was looking for my ult there, thinking maybe of casting it, but I was chilling on it. You want this? You can take it. Hee hee hee. So the fun thing about Tsukiyomi, the Flame Forge, as you can see here, is it actually doesn't just proc on your stun of your two, it procs on the side slashes that it does. Why is that? Well, the side slashes count as a disarm, which is actually one of the rarest CCs in the entire game. Not many people have disarms. Uh, Sukiyomi has one on his two. Uh, Nike has one on her one. Fafnir has one on his three. Um, I'm trying to think, because there are a few other gods that do have disarms. But the point I'm trying to make to you stands, there's not very many gods in the game that actually have disarms. It's just a very rare CC. Because the thing is, it's very strong. Like, wow. We just got that entire ult out of him and he had to run away. I mean, it is a Zeus, right? That's kind of how it goes with them. I'm going to use my sprint on this boy so we can just get here really quick. And I might even go straight into my ult. Um, okay. I'm kind of surprised that he knew that was coming. I don't want to take any too, or too much farm here, if any. Oh, shit. I'm going to attack left, I'll say that. Because I want to help him out. Ooh, baby! Going straight into my two? Holy moly. I'm going to slow this kid. I'm going to use my horn shark. Whoa, there's four people here. I'm going to stun this Jamoke. Using my three to slow this guy if I can. And he'll lane right on me and get slowed. This guy thinks I don't have any damage or something, but I do. We still have our stun up in a second. We're going to stun this guy. Bonk. We're gonna slow him immediately. Okay, we're getting ready for this. As soon as he comes down, we need to hit him with an auto. There it is. I'll use my one on Thor if I can catch him. Is Izzy, 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 Izzy. That's her invis. We stun. We immediately slow. Beautiful. Throwing my Calprops out. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get this Totem Q, and I'm gonna back to base most likely. So Sukiyomi, to me, is one of the most broken god releases um, in Smite history. There's a few that are pretty crazy, uh, including our girl New over here. She is one of the strongest gods I've ever seen released. But Tsukiyomi was really busted. Whoa, okay. I'm going to use my sprint on us. Yeah, and I toss my Caltrops behind. We're going to go for a shell next because I'm really getting sick of that shit. And this is where we need to look at actually getting some prots online because we need to use this Eldritch to our advantage. Now, I really like this item right here, Magi's Revenge. What it does is it causes enemies that use their hard CC on us and cause our bubble to pop. It's going to make them take 10% more damage, right? Which is very good considering that it'll make the damage go higher on our Flame Forge. But on top of that, it's also going to combine with our Spartan Flag later, which lets us get more power in a little radius. So we do a bunch of stuff in little radiuses, that just helps our teammates do a bunch of extra damage. And it's really fun. That's kind of what you're going for with these assassin support builds. It's become my mainstay when I do these assassin support builds because it's just so effective. Um, I'm going to say on my way, we're actually still ahead of their Surtur support a little bit. And I'd like to keep that gravy train rolling, but unfortunately, I'll die if I go for this. I'm going to use my two for movement speed here. And eh, throw this out. Okay. I'm going to just immediately shell him. I'm going to use my stun on this Jamoke. I know I keep saying that. It's a, an endearing term, by the way. It's nothing rude. I'm going to use this on my on this Zeus here. I'm 
Oh, I missed my stun. If I die here, I'm fine as long as Naja lives. At the end of the day, we are support, so I do want to save people. Okay. I'm kind of baiting here at this point. Watch this. Oh. Oh, I suck. Okay, don't watch that. That was ugly, and I'm bad. <laughs> but we did save Naja, and we saved our own life. But I'm going to save you right back, because we do need a back. And we can keep working on these glyphs here. We'll go Magi's, and after this, we're going to save up, and we're going to go straight for the Eldritch. And that's really going to pump up our uh, defense crazy when we use these glyphs, which, guess what? We're using the glyphs all the time, because they have 50 seconds off their cooldowns. And they're actually leveling themselves up, just because of the new system that's in Smite this season, where they can do that. We have ult in 17 seconds. We're going to get a Prid one after this, by the way, which is going to give us 20% more cooldown reduction. And then that's going to be really good, so we can just keep spamming our ult and stuff. I'm actually going to use my sprint here so the boys can catch up to these idiots. I'm going to go straight into my stun, and I'm going to use it on this guy. I'm going to use my one on him. We'll just keep beating him with a little slappy slappy here. I'm going to go into my ult, and I'm going to use it on this Izanami because she's getting her butt cheeks tickled. Quite literally. I'm going to go into my stun. I'm going to die for this, but I think I just killed their entire team for the most part. Yes, so I'm completely fine with that. That's literally all you're trying to do with an assassin support. Everything I just did right there is what you're trying to do. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. That. Oh. Cool. Little rage quit? From the guy who's doing a billion damage? I don't know how he's winning, because they are somehow worse. And also, just rage quit. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and grab this glyph like we were saying. And then we'll just grab a little sentry war while we're at it. I'll switch those around because I like doing so. I'm literally just kind of going back and forth. Oh, oh, yeah, he used that. That makes sense. Duh. Uh, I want to get Stygian Beacon. Oh, shoot. Can we get here in time? Oh, game pause. That makes sense. They're going to do a little pause. That's fun. I can take a sip of water really quick. And then we can do a little game show with Roger. Uh, Freaking, um, here, let's do a trivia. What is the smallest country in the world? Anybody? I'll give you um, until the end of this pause, and then I'll tell you the answer. But hopefully you guys are having a nice day. I just thought I would go and try to record one more little schmite video for you guys. I'm trying, by the way, just so we can talk channel, talk shop for a little second to get 2,000 subscribers as quickly as I can to get the full benefits of being in the partner program, and then I can really start pumping out more content for you guys. But I'm doing my best to get a video for you guys every single day of this month. And if it starts looking beneficial to me, and especially if I can start streaming and stuff, then I'm looking to just do my content like as much as possible. Um, so anybody who's been helping me out on that so far, I really, really do appreciate that. Uh, it's even funny. If you don't know, I have a bigger channel with like 8,500 subscribers where I do Destiny 2 content. Um, I've done that for a couple of years now. Uh, also, the answer is Vatican City. Smallest country in the world. What do you know? Um, but I just couldn't do that anymore because that game got way too unbearable to play. I'm going to focus on this Izanami here. I'm going to go ahead and stun her. We're just going to grind her down really quick. There we go. Behind. Using my slow on this guy. Oh, he's Magi's now, by the way. So I can use my stun on him. And my my teammates are going to run faster towards this guy. Eh, I was looking around at that. Like, what did I want to do? Okay, their, their teammate came back too. I'm going to say attack on this because I really just want to grab it. Whoa! Stunning? Okay, we're going to put Caltrops right here so he has to run through them to get out. That means he's immediately slowed. We'll keep beating him up, which obviously... I'm going to say attack on this. I think we should back up and just do objectives. Shoot, I hate when... I hate when teammates are a little too overzealous. I don't really tank this very well, by the way. But it's okay, because Naja's coming. He'll tank over the tank for me. We can chase this around on the Caltro. <laughs> okay. Uh, my boy did not know how to step out of the radius there. That was something. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, what did I finish my thought process earlier? I'm going to wait for my war flag, by the way, because we're getting close. Where we can just grab the upgrade for that, and then we'll go Pridwin after that. Um, to finish my thought, yeah, so I ran a Destiny channel for the past few years now, but 
that game has become just completely insufferable. The community is terrible to its creators and each other. They're all just very, very toxic. The, the PvP community specifically. Um, and I'm just not doing it right now. It just makes me not enjoy my days when I do it. And one of my views in life is if you're not happy doing what you're doing, then don't sit there and complain all day when you have the power to change it. Um, and so I picked up the smite content because I have always loved this game for over a decade now. And I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. And uh, you guys have been so positive and welcoming to me like as a content creator and stuff and just been swarming me with love and support. Uh, so I do really want to say thank you for that. It's been just so much fun. I I've been absolutely loving getting up and thinking, okay, what goofy build am I going to do next? You know, like, what can I do to just have fun on Smite and give people hopefully some entertainment? And it's just been this kind of stuff. And you guys have been absolutely loving it. I'm going to stun him off of her. I'm tanking until she gets out. I shouldn't do this, but here we go. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. I'm using my two for movement speed, and I'm out, baby. Woo. Um, interesting. Oh my gosh. Why didn't you leave me that portal? Seriously, bro? What the fuck? I needed a portal. <laughs> yeah, by the way, I did not really care to push that right lane with New on the tier 2, but she was doing it, and I just thought it looked kind of funny and enticing. Wow, well, he could have killed him if he just stuck an auto. This Yanu seems uh, mechanically skilled, but um, perhaps a little game sense averse. You can tell off the way that he let me die there, um, which... I'm not going to blame him completely for that because it's more so my fault for doing stupid positioning. Like, I fully know that, but I was just having fun talking to you guys. Um, then it is his fault. Uh, but also, bigger than that is the way that he died to that uh, Pyromancer earlier <laughs> by just not letting it go. And just he just kept leashing it. And it was like, dude, you're taking the prio on this. Like, you're tanking it. You need to stop. <laughs> But he just like didn't realize he was tanking, I don't think. And it was like, okay. That wasn't very good. But, you know. Hopefully Naja has another yellow buff, because I want this one. I want to be able to just speed up next to the enemies. And I'm also going to change this to a green Tiki. Uh, and if he's mad at me for that, then apologies. I'm going to stay on my way. I don't really know why they're fighting there, to be completely honest with you. We have Spartan Flag now, by the way, so that's good. We're going to go Pridwin next. Um, and yeah, the team needs to not throw like that for no reason. Really didn't make any sense why they were all just sitting in right jungle trying to fight something that didn't need to be fought. Okay, like this, this Giannis is hitting like a truck. Like, holy schmoly. Um, big man, this is not the time for you to go dicko mode on it. Oh my god, Giannis. I can't trust in these teammates. They keep... Get off my boy. Get off my boy. Uh-uh. You're not that guy, pal. Okay. Oh, you welcome to hell. Population, you. I shouldn't do this. Wow. I'm going to go immediately into my flame forged here. We're going to cut this off with a slow, and I'm going to go straight into my ult on this guy, because he needs to die. There we go. That's a huge pick. I'm going to say attack. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Stun him. I'm talking to myself, I know. Where's my fucking team? Okay. You what do you guys think we're playing? Because I'm I'm trying to play Smite. Oh. Stygian. I meant to type that with a Y, but I messed my Y key. That was really smart of them to go for a uh, fire giant there. I didn't have it warded, I say, as I did walk out of base without having a sentry ward. Am I kind of just brawling with Suki right now? Because I'm doing a lot of damage. Like, the Flame Forge is going crazy. It feels really, really powerful, this build. This is just like a cook I made off of Sev. 
What? Alright, alright, what? Okay. Whoa! I hit it! Man, I can't believe if I had a team that actually helped me there. Naja was full health, full mana, by the way. That's the only reason I'm saying that. They just warded this. We heard the ward noise go down. I'm gonna go back to base and get wards. Just... Yeah, I can't. No one on this team will ward besides me. Luckily, we killed that Zeus, so he lost his fire giant buff. Um, I grab this back yellow, because he's grabbing the other yellow. We'll change it to green like we did last time. Hello, hello. You can trail around on this. I feel like they need to make a, a partnership with Lego and make a Sukuyomi skin, and his Caltrops can just be him throwing a bunch of one-by-one -one Lego bricks on the ground. Because, you know, that's like the worst pain in life, is stepping on a Lego brick. So imagine if they translated that to a skin. Like... <sighs> I mean, I'm doing deeps, bro. Look at that burn. Not good. No, wait, good. Good man. I gotta get out though. I could die so easy to this Zeus. I missed my stun. That's on me. And there's three people behind me. Can we please move up? All five. We win so easy. Like, why why do we keep doing this? I trusted that Naja and he helped me out a bit. Yanish is doing deeps. I just I just need him behind me for once. Newt's fucking worthless. I'll just say that. Like that's not a you know. Why didn't you stay with your stay near your surter? He has your best chance of winning is staying near your surter. Good, you got beads out of Thor. Don't stand in a straight line. You're fighting a Thor. What what are, what are two of Thor's abilities? Here's another quiz for you. You got Vatican City earlier. Here's another quiz for you. What are two of Thor's abilities? Did you say straight lines? Yes, that's correct. So don't team up with your teammates and stand in a complete fucking straight pencil line. It's just not smart. They need to go get Pyromancer. At the very least, they could get an objective off of this fight. If they get an objective off this fight like Pyromancer, then it's like, okay, at least we kind of get something, right? And we can also group all five now. I have my Magis back up. I have my ult back up. Oh, for the love of God. By the way, Eldritch Dagger... Just so I can show you this, lasts for 20 seconds. Like, it's a really long time to get that a 15% increase in brats. What's going on this guy? He just got me sucked into that. I'm stunning this. No follow-up, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna say a Pyro. The only one dead is their Izzy. And in terms of our, um... Phoenix Siege potential, it's not the highest in the world when you consider that we lost our Giannis. So it's like, I'd rather get this. Stunning it so it loses its little smack move it does there. I take a lot of damage to those. It's one of the downsides of these types of supports. I'm going to immediately stun him. Keep him in the Flame Forge. I'm going to shell my boy. I know you. I see that guy's really low health, by the way. Like, it's not lost on me. But more important to me... Than a guy being low health is saving my low health teammate. I'm trying to just to use my two on this Thor. I got my one on him. I'm gonna say Adamana. I don't want her to get gone on right when she lands or something. Awesome, she did something. I'm gonna stun this guy. I'm body blocking him too. Ooh. Now I am really out of mana. Like before, it was kind of a joke. Need to heal. Let's get fire. I'm going to get another sentry here. Um, and then I need one more item. But first, I can get. Do I want blue print? That's going to equal blah, 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 blah. Uh, I want this one. Um, last item. 
What am I getting hit by? They have one, two, three, four fizz. Let's get a full fizz item. I can go for a full salve, or I can go for a mystical mail. Mystical mail is fun because it does magical damage. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Stygian. We can't lose Stygian right now. That can do a big glop of damage to some Phoenixes and T2. Oh my god. Yeah, you should say thanks because literally no one helped you there. Just get the damn objective, please. There's an Izanami over there, apparently. Let me throw my Caltrops here. Okay, this guy's just literally running down a Zeus. This needs to be my whole focus right now. I'm gonna use my Caltrops here just to slow these little chuckle fucks. Pretty good damage there. We have our stun up. I'm gonna aim it on the Izanami. This needs to be my focus right now. We got our dash out of her. We slowed him. Using my one. Okay, I die. Okay, now I lived. Okay, did we all die? That's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Holy schmoly. His ult was just crazy there. Yeah, I can't do anything here. I can try to fight back, but I think I have a pretty good handle on this one by now. I'm going to switch it to instant cast. Same thing with the ult. Not the three, though. I'll keep that on regular cast, just to be careful. Also, I don't know why that stupid pussy is last spamming. I'll probably just mute him. I don't like players like that. Because last spamming, as I said this before, is literally the equivalent of teabagging uh, in FPS games, which I'm very familiar with because... Again, Destiny 2 is toxic as all hell. I'm sure it's good to have that stuff warded. Pretty sure I'm the only one buying wards, though. Hit your auto, hit your auto, hit... Use your ults! Oh, no. To be fair, he's doing pretty good juggling for everything that's happening to him right now. They dropped it? Uh... Okay. Sure, I'm gonna finish up with a mystical mail here. I could actually go for an Emperor's because we're sieging so much. But to me, I kind of feel like I need more damage. That bro just died to a Harpy. And I'm going to say attack fire. I'm going to say I'll ward because uh, to, my, to me, there's definitely wards on there. Please, Surter, don't start that until we're all there. Do not start that until everyone is here. Okay. Just... There we go. There's a ward. I knew it. I'm gonna zone. There it is. Oh, that's on instant cast now. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm just going crazy on this. There we go. That's called secure, baby. I'm gonna sprint my team. We can go mid. I'm gonna stun this guy. Bonk. We can get left now if we want. Okay, that's on instant cast. I really didn't remember that. I'm shelling the boys. Slowing. Going in for a stun on this Zeus. Killed. I'm dropping my bomb right here. Shoot. What is... Oh, the door is glitched. It's a good slow. We got a middle phoenix. We still have three with fire giant. I call that a dub. I'm just gonna say be careful. Thor ult is down, so he can't catch us with that. And we can go back and get full build. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Bro is fast to get there that quickly. Okay, that was a good fight. You know, I could get a Sovereignty even for the team, but... Or I could go with Guardian. No, I... I want, I want this. I want the crowd control reduction, too. Yeah. It's my call, and I'm sticking to it. It's what I want. 
Okay. Yeah, that um door was glitched out during that fight, and it was really screwing me up. Also, my stuff being on instant cast now <laughs> was making me so confused. I was like, why am I swinging? Oh, yeah, I changed it. We need to group up and attack right lane. First, we need to do this. Digian to Pyro to right lane. Easy. I'm just going to call what I want and hopefully the team helps me out. I don't know why Giannis is running all the way to the left, but we really need to group. Newt needs to not do that without us. Like I said, Stygy into Pyro to right. We want to hit another big slab of damage on that left lane tower. And then we want to grab Pyromancer so we have a bomb. And then we're going to go for the right Phoenix because it's the best Phoenix for us to get. Alright, hit that thing. And cool. I'm going to say right lane and hopefully they listen to me. Please, 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 fucking. Okay, whatever. If you got it, if you got a kill, secure it. Oh shoot! I stun this. Ah, the team's falling apart back here. He can re-engage. I'm gonna stun this. Stunned? Oh wait, no. I'm sprinting my team. I'm shelling them, too. Waiting for my two to come up. Stunning this guy. Putting Caltrops down to slow the entire team there. Throwing my one out there. Okay, we're going to attack left lane. We have an entire minion wave here. This is good for us. Don't need to watch our back, because the only two enemy players left alive are straight in front of us. I'm stunning him. Got it. Body blocking. Caltrops. Slowed. Beating him with my basics. One. Good. Attack the Titan. We have a uh, fire wave here, so that's completely fine for us. And I can tank this a little bit. Enemy ultimate incoming. We're going to spread out a little bit. I'm going to go straight into my ult and just clobber this kid. I don't really care if I go on the tank Phoenix, or the base, I should say. Oh my... That was all me. Oh my god, end it, please. Yes. And now you get last spammed back. Isn't that funny how you last spam me and now you lost because I'm the better player? I usually don't laugh spam, but if somebody laughs at me in the middle of a game, there's, you know, hell hath no fury like a Roger scorned. So <laughs> you're going down, big boy. Dude, I was envisioning Suki support being pretty dang good. That was actually really fun. <laughs> He's still such a strong god. I need to use him in jungle, but my god, GG. Leaning phase was a little dirty because this new is not a good player, um, but I really respect that she stuck it out either way. And she did her best, and that's all I can really ask for. I think I even got an achievement done there. What is this? Uh, it can't tell me. That's okay, let's check the boards here. 32 grand damage? Yeah. That's a lot of damage for a support. Uh, mitigated, still at 38 grand, is pretty solid for uh, assassin support. I'm, the, I'm literally the only one on our entire team that warded. The only one. And I wasn't even warding that well. I was barely paying attention to it, because at the time I was kind of just talking to you guys and having fun in this video, but... Jeez Louise. We'll take that slash line. We did pretty good. 21 assists and 7 kills is 28. 28 out of the 35 kills in that match for our team, I was a part of. And that's how you check if you did good as a support. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, only like or subscribe. I very much appreciate that. If you're enjoying the videos, you want to see them daily in your inbox, make sure you do click that little notification bell as well. And if you want to see more, you know, I just would really appreciate that. This is going to do it for me today, though. So as always, have a great day.